Hello, welcome to the Union Pacific Railroad Geneva subdivision. My name is Daryl Cruz. I'm the owner, builder, and operator of the layout. I have an operating session coming up one week from today. Uh, so I've been working on the, the layout quite a bit, trying to get things touched up here and there. Uh, today, though, I'm going to give you an overview of the entire layout. We're going to follow a coal train from the East Aging Yard through River Forest, Maywood, Proviso, Elmhurst, Wheaton, Rochelle, Global 3, Franklin Grove, across the Mississippi River, and then finally Clinton and the West Staging Yard. I think this will give you a good idea of what the entire layout is, and uh, you can also uh, kind of get an idea how operating sessions might run. Uh, those of you, of you who are coming next week for the operating session, uh, you might get an idea of what uh, the operating session is going to entail for you. Uh, so uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. All right, here we are at the East Aging Yard. This yard represents uh, yards uh, that are east of Proviso. Chicago Yards, Canadian National Yards, Norfolk Southern Yards, all those yards east of um, the Geneva subdivision. The first town on the line we're heading westward is River Forest. As you can see, it's an elevated track, just as, an, on, the pro, as on the prototype. West of River Forest, it goes into the forest preserves. On the other side of the wall, it comes out of the forest preserves and across the Dust Plains River. And from the Dust Plains River, it enters the city of Maywood. There will be passenger stations both in Maywood here and also in River Forest. No buildings here yet, just track. From Maywood, the line continues westward to the main yard in Proviso, or at Proviso. This is a through train carrying empties back to Wyoming, so there are no stops in Proviso, or at the Proviso Yard. Here you can see it meeting in a coal train with loads for power plants in Chicago, Indiana, Wisconsin, Michigan, and so forth. Both of these just run through on the main line and do not enter the yard at Proviso, which you can see here. Pretty good sized yard. There's a Proviso tower. This is still Proviso. This is the engine facilities in Proviso. Again, this train is just a run through. From Proviso, it continues on. And the next city from Proviso is Elmhurst. Here it goes through a wall. There'll be an overpass here to cover this hole. And then this will be the city of Elmhurst, Illinois. There, there will be a passenger station here as well. The Geneva subdivision will be served by Metra from River Forest to Wheaton and then back. See so going through signals. This is a double crossover here between Elmhurst and Wheaton, which is the next city. This uh, train is going pretty fast. Uh, Faster than I normally run it, I would say right now this train's going about 60 miles per hour. We generally run the trains closer to 30 to 35 miles per hour since most of the track is in cities and the trains do go a little bit slower in cities. This will be Wheaton. Nothing here at all. Have a lot to do here. Lots and lots of buildings. This curve here is where the Wheaton passenger station will go. From Wheaton, it goes through a wall again. 
comes out the other side and crosses the Rock River and then heads into Rochelle. Here you can see it meeting a crude oil uh, unit train. This is the city of Rochelle, pretty large area of the layout. The overpass and the water tower. A lot to do here. Yeah, I just have the buildings just sitting there for now. This is the railroad park here. And then the Four Diamond BNSF UP uh, crossing. This uh, track um, here is the UP BNSF interchange track small interchange yard. The BNSF switcher here does uh, create a lot of interesting operations. It basically will pick up and distribute cars to the various industries in Rochelle and then the cars are picked up and dropped off by Union Pacific trains. And so that's Rochelle. I just West of Rochelle is Global 3. And here you can see a pretty good size intermodal yard. Pretty good size for an end scale layout. Still tiny compared to the prototype Global 3, which is huge. But it's a good size for a layout. Can have uh, some interesting operations here as well. So that's Global 3. There's the uh, yard switchers for Global 3. West of uh, Global 3 is the city of Franklin Grove. And there are a couple of industries here in Franklin Grove. Of course, the turnouts are opposite facing, just to make it more interesting. There is one manifest train each day that will uh, stop here and drop off and pick up cars. There's the coal train again with full loads. And then west of Franklin Grove, the line continues on and finally crosses the Mississippi River. And here you have the crossing of the Union Pacific Geneva subdivision from Illinois into Iowa. And then here in Iowa, this will be Clinton. A little underpass there. This passenger station We'll have a lot of graffiti as it's abandoned in Clinton. It's also be an old rundown passenger station with uh, lots of graffiti and so forth. All right, so it took about uh, eight minutes to make the run all the way through. So this is going about twice as fast as we normally do. So going at uh, the speeds that we usually run about 30 to 35 miles per hour, this would take about 16 minutes from end to end. There you have it. From one side to the other on the U Pacific Railroad Geneva subdivision. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, have fun running trains.